Tell me about your recent experience with the antibiotic Levaquin. So it was the very end of the summer in 2017, and I was in the best physical and mental health of my life. And I celebrated to a, with a trip to Belize. And I was so proud of myself because I was kayaking and hiking and zip lining, all these things that I couldn't do when I was younger because of the myasthenia gravis. And it was an amazing vacation. But toward the very end of the vacation, I got food poisoning, uh, salmonella and campylobacter. And when I got home, um, those issues were going on for several weeks and the doctor prescribed the antibiotic Levaquin, which you're not supposed to take uh, with myasthenia gravis, but I stupidly didn't read the, the, the pamphlet that comes with the medication. So I was prescribed 10 pills, one pill a day for 10 days. And on day four, it felt like it was the weirdest feeling. It felt like someone had tied chains to my legs. Like I could walk, but every step was just extremely heavy. I immediately stopped taking the medication uh, and saw that you weren't supposed to take it with my gravis. Uh, but then the, the, the heaviness in the legs had later, about a week or so later, moved to my arms and then to my neck. So it felt like, again, I could, I could use my arms, but it felt like they were in cement and bogged down, like I couldn't lift them. So my immediate thought was, okay, this must have exacerbated my myasthenia gravis. But when I went to the doctors, they were like, this doesn't look like myasthenia gravis to me. But then again, if you remember, they never thought I had myasthenia gravis in the first place. Um, so we did find a doctor who did believe that it was um, an exacerbation of the myasthenia gravis, treated me for it uh, with a course of something called plasmapheresis, where they wash out your antibodies and, and put new things in your body to clean the bad antibodies out. And it worked, but only a little bit. Um, so this has been going on, this is two years ago now. Um, I'm a lot better than it, when it first started. Um, when it first started, I had trouble walking like from one end of the apartment to the other. Now I can walk, but it still feels, um, it still feels just very weird and very achy. Um, last year at this time, I could barely type one email. Now can I, t I can type for about 45 minutes but that's nowhere where, like before this, I could type eight hours a day. And what's so frustrating is the doctors don't know what the cause of this is. Um, they've ruled out that it's myasthenia gravis, um, even though I do have that, they don't think that's what these symptoms are. Some think it's a new neurological autoimmune disease called Guillain-Barre. Um, others think it's just a side effect of the Levaquin. When I went online, there are again, thousands and thousands of people who had similar symptoms as I do, um, it's to the point where now the FDA has put black box warnings on the drug. Um, and then a third group of doctors just thinks it's all in my head. So I don't believe that group of doctors. It's either um, a side effect of Levaquin or it's this new neurological autoimmune disease called Guillain-Barre. Um, but it's just, it is as, although I'm getting better, it is so frustrating. And I think I'm gonna throw it out to all of you. I'm gonna post it on, on the undiagnosed website and see what you think. Do you think it's a reaction to the antibiotic, uh, the Levaquin, um, which is in a family of antibiotics called the fluoroquinolines, which are known to have a host of problems, or do you think it's um, Guillain-Barre? So please send me your comments. If you're in the, from the medical profession, a doctor, nurse, or physical therapist, um, let me know, because that even holds more weight. So I'm hoping that um, I get better eventually um, and that I can return to normal. Thanks.